Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the new topic that is indexes. So let's move on to our new topic that is nothing but indexes. Normally, what is an index in the MongoDB? So if you have knowledge on relational database and all those things, so you know about the index concept, unique index, primary key index. So these are all indexes only. So the, the same way the MongoDB also the indexes concept is the same way as in the SQL. So first we need to know <clears throat> why we need to use the index. Indexes are used to support the efficient execution of the queries in MongoDB. So in order to find when you are trying to execute the query, that is nothing but a getting the data, find queries when you are trying to do. So we will use this indexes without using the indexes mongodb perform a collection scan so that means if we don't use the mongo uh, indexes concept mongodb in the document in the collection it uses the collection scan i will try to show you that collection scan also what is that collection scan so that is nothing but it will scan every document in a collection to select which documents match the query statement so that is the thing it collection state collection scan is one type of scan concept it follows the mongodb follows <clears throat> which uses which, is, which scans each and every documents whether it is satisfying the condition or not like that it will it will select it will choose the each document in the query statement if an appropriate index is provided for any query mongodb can use that index to limit the number of documents it must inspect normally if you don't have the index you are having 5000 documents in a collection and you have written a query to get some items greater than something like that it will try to scan from document 1 to document 5000 documents it will it will scan those all the things and it will try to find which document is matching with the selected condition if you don't have if you if you have an index it will make use of that index so that it can limit the document scanning from 5000 to 2000 something like that and it can give you the documents within less amount of time <clears throat> so that is the use of this indexes indexes i can say that there are these are something like special data structures that store a small portion of collections data set in order to have an easy way to trans traverse the data so it's a it's a type of data structures so now let's try to apply uh, see that Thing, uh, index thing for a query thing for example if you want to apply a query for index thing let's try to see normally let's say that uh, these index thing and all those things when you are trying to apply when you are having huge data in a collection then these indexes are very much useful for us so let's say that for example in mongodb when you are creating a collection or otherwise when you are creating the documents default you will be having an id you also already observed id which is having a big object id so that is nothing but it creates a unique index so that means it has a unique id unique index so that when you are trying to insert another document with the same id that is existing previously <clears throat> using that index it will be able to find very easily or very fast that already an id existing and already a document existing with that id it will be able to analyze it so by default when you are creating a document you have one index by default that is nothing but an unique index which is applied to an id so that is the one thing you need to understand <clears throat> so now you can also apply indexes to your documents something like to your field whatever the field you want you can also apply it so when we need to apply i will try to show you for example let's say that i am having a db dot survey data dot find so right now we don't have anything i think yeah okay so let's try to insert some huge data into this one so what i will try to do is i will try to loop a for loop okay as this one is a mongo shell which which supports the javascript language so here i will use i is equal to zero i less than one lakh records i will try to insert <clears throat> i plus plus and here i will try to insert db dot survey data dot insert one and here i will try to have name of type leela or anything whatever the thing you want name of type leela and you can have plus i okay and another one what you will try to do is the date of birth so inside this one you will be having a value and here i can use math dot random okay into 100 
I will try to do into 100 and here I will try to do the parse int okay so instead of having this one so parse int okay so this is the logic I am trying to execute so just I am looping over from 0 to 1 lakh and I am inserting one by one with Leela 1, Leela 2, Leela 3 like that and date of birth which is having an embedded document which value and I am using some random into 100 I am doing so that it will come from 0 to 100 the value will be so this is the thing let's try to execute it it may take some time to execute but still we'll try to execute it let's wait for some time let it execute so here it took some time to run this query but it has successfully installed inserted all the documents let's try to see how many count is there db dot survey data dot find or otherwise let's try to see survey data dot count or otherwise dot find dot count right we need to use dot find dot count let's try to see it so we are having nearly one lakh records if you try to see db dot something like this so here we this is the data we are having db value 56 55 61 49 now what i want to do is i want to write query in a such a way that it is taking it needs to have dob dot value which should be greater than greater than 90 i want to get the values which are greater than 90 let's try to see it so these are the values we are having let's try to get the count let's try to see the count so 9699 we are having right so these are the data we are having let's try to see how much time it is taking to execute this query so we have a command now we have a method we'll try to see about these all things also explain so it will tell you that explain so how much time it has took so here you can write so here this is a verbose you'll be having query planner execution status like this we are having we'll try to do we'll try to discuss about this one also but let's try to have execution stats and i will remove this count thing so that we can have the execution stats how much time it is taking if you try to see here <clears throat> Now here if you try to see the total number of re documents written was 9000 and the time taken to execute this one is nothing but 111 milliseconds okay 111 milliseconds it took so total documents it has gone through is 10,000 to get this 9000 records sorry 1 lakh records it went through all examined to get the 9000 records so that is too much costly right expensive it has gone through the process call scan call scan means collection scan i already told you right collection scan means it's a process how it will try to do is it will try to go each document and it will try to check that this query this query this is the query filter whether it is matching with that particular document or not so it will go through the, all the index and it will try to get this one so in order to perform this all action it took something around one 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 milliseconds now we need to decrease this time how can we decrease this time is so we can add a single field index so we need to apply with which we are trying to see so with greater than 90 dbob dot value so we need to apply this dbob dot value so we can also apply to the outer outer field or also to the embedded document field also we can apply the index we need to apply an index to this dbob dot value why because we are trying to check the condition with this dbob dot value so here in order to apply we can use single field index survey data dot create index of and i can write dob dot value to one so one means it will arrange it will create the index in an ascending order if you mention it as minus one it will create it in descending order so either way it is okay mongodb will be able to traverse ascending or descending so we'll keep it as an ascending so i have created an index so it will it has created an index already before index one is there that is nothing but an id which is having a unique index right now after applying this one we are having two indexes so now the dob dot value is also an index now let's try to see the same query how much time it will take greater than 90 if i try to see this one it's the same query so now it has went not through the call scan it has went through the <coughs> it has went through the what i can say is so it has went through the uh, index scan so now we previously it used to have call scan right now it has went to the index scan and it, it has written 4000 items so i think why 4000 items okay fine so it was 95 so not 90 so i have changed i think so okay let's keep it like this we'll try to see 
the total number of times it read the total number of estimate it took was 6 milliseconds only so or sorry sorry execution milliseconds it took is 39 only previously it was around 111 milliseconds for 90 but drastically it has been changed right but drastically it has been decreased so this is how we can apply the index in order to get that so it has written 4000 so maybe it has been it will be increasing to let's try to see it or otherwise sometimes it will have so greater than equal to 90 or something we'll see how much time it has to see execution time it took was 28 milliseconds only see how much time we have decreased so now the same records it has found 9000 previously without applying the index we got 111 milliseconds we got it but now when i try to apply index so this time it has went to the two stages execution stages first one is an index scan so index scan means we have applied an index for the dob dot value so it has went through index scan it took two milliseconds to perform the index plan and now it has to get those records so what are the records it has find through it has found through the index scan it needs to get written those documents and it has written those documents so total process took about 28 milliseconds which is very 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 less compared to the query time which took without an index it took around 111 milliseconds but this time within 28 milliseconds so depending on the server speed and all those things also it matters so if i try to do here this time so this time i can get little bit less so where is that one so where i have applied this one so here this is the data this is the data yeah so this time this time it is 29 milliseconds something like that it will take some time or lesser but so overall it has been decreased so this is how we can apply the index to a particular field this is called as a single field index so we can apply a field index to a particular field so that we can decrease the search queries uh, query timing so we, we can when you are trying to do the find query you are trying to apply a condition right you can use this index to decrease the execution time so this is about the index concept so how to apply the single field index for a document for a collection we have seen it hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you